Good evening. First tonight, Billy Davis is back as manager of Nottingham Forest. And on the day of his remarkable shock appointment, East Midlands Today has an exclusive interview with him and the club chairman. Davis was, of course, sacked as Forest manager 18 months ago. And he now becomes the fourth manager at the city ground since Forest was taken over by a Kuwaiti consortium last summer. Natalie Jackson reports now from central London. Well, tonight I'm at the home of Nottingham Forest Chairman Farwaz Al Hazawi here in Mayfair in London. And it's here that over the past week, he and former manager Billy Davis have been planning his shock return to the city ground. Here we are. <laughs> We had lunch and within minutes of officially announcing that Billy Davis had been reappointed as boss, he and the chairman gave us their first interviews. I'm absolutely delighted to be back. I'm delighted to be working with the new, the new owners and I'm very, very much looking forward to trying our very best to achieve what we never done on my last uh, time here. So does Billy have to get promotion this season? Well, we hope so, that uh, it will happen because it's not far. We have only maybe 16 games to go, and I think uh, we are only maybe seven point or six point. And I think if we continue winning, it will happen. You know, when I found out about this one, then my decision was very easy. I can tell you. The 48-year-old Scotsman was harshly sacked 20 months ago by the previous owners, despite leading the club to successive playoff semi-finals. So why go back? In my meeting with the chairman, uh, I can see clearly he's a winner. In the chairman's meeting with myself, I'm sure that he would agree that I'm also a winner. And together, we want to win. It's as simple as that. The Kuwaiti Al Hazawi family have sacked three managers since they took over at Nottingham Forest six months ago. But Farwaz Al Hazawi says Billy Davis's return heralds a fresh start. Maybe some of the fans think that Fawaz al Hasawi is interfering with the managers, and this is wrong totally. If I interfere, I will not pick Billy Davis because I know Billy Davis is a strong manager and he don't like anybody to interfere. There's this reputation that you're the kind of guy that can have an argument in a phone box. You've heard that phrase before. Can you definitely both get on? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. That tells you everything. And Farwaz Al Hazawi says he'll be there at Billy Davis's first game back against Bolton a week on Saturday. In the meantime, Billy will meet the media as the new Nottingham Forest manager officially on Monday. Natalie Jackson, BBC East Midlands Today, Mayfair in London. And no surprise to hear there will be more on this in our sport with Colin later in the programme. Sport now and uh, interesting times at the city ground. Indeed. Colin is there for us. Good evening, Colin. Yes, what a week it's been here. I don't care who you support, really, and it doesn't much matter what you think of the man himself. The fact is, the return of Billy Davis to this dugout, Prowl, this technical area, is quite a news story. Lost his job here at the city ground just over 18 months ago, but now... He is back under the new owners, and we've had exclusive access to Billy Davis and to Chairman Fawaz Al Hazawi today. They gave their only broadcast interview to Natalie Jackson. Now, if you missed the beginning of the program, of course, it's on the iPlayer later on today. The whole interview will be on the website. But on the sport, we wanted to give you a bit of a taste of what Billy had to say. Well, obviously, I'm, I'm delighted, Natalie, because I've said to the fans for a very long time, the ones that were listening, that uh, we had unfinished business. Uh, they've been very loyal. The fans have been very, very loyal, no matter who has been there and who's been doing the job. But I think, uh, from my own point of view, I'm absolutely delighted. What have you made of the new owners um, since you've been having dealings with them? Well, obviously, it's very difficult at the moment, Natalie, just uh, with the short period of time that we've had together. But, uh, you know, there's no doubt that if you look at the chairman and the investment that he's already made with, I think, is it, is it 14 players? You know, uh, you've got to say that there's, there's a, a huge return there with the 14 players and what's been put into the club. And, and we know that this is a developing team and it's got new ownership. And, you know, there's a, a project here that will take time. Now, Billy can be a robust character, he wouldn't deny that. The new owner, Fawaz Al Hazawi, has shown a ruthless streak, a willingness to wield the axe. So, with that in mind, are the fans all sit in these seats? 
utterly convinced this is a match made in heaven. It's the best news we could have possibly wished for um, over the moon. He's the man for the job. Um, he's not under stamp and no rubbish, I don't believe. Yeah, he just brings belief in the fans. I think that's, you know, what, what the club needs. We need to be, you know, reunited again. It seems we've lost a bit of stability, like I say, and uh, hopefully he'll, uh, King Billy will bring uh, good times back to the city ground. What Forest need more now than ever is some stability at the club. And bearing in mind that Billy Davis has got a good track record, but his three years at Forest before was spent with a very public fallout with a, the with a last owner. Billy's his own man, he's not a yes man, he'll do and he'll say what he wants. Uh, all he can ask for, if the owner's to play along with him, you know, uh, play the game, and then if he gets what he gets, and who knows, we could back in the Premiership. Absolutely brilliant news, I think it's best appointment I've made for a while, really. It's a bit up and down, um, it was brilliant the last time he was here. Um, I think it's a bit of a quick appointment that they've made. I think they might have thought about it a bit more, but no, I think the fans will be happy. Overjoyed. Overjoyed. It's the best news we could have possibly had at City Ground. Um, all the fans are like, I think they'll be the same. We're highly optimistic as um, Forest Spotters. Can't wait to see him back because we did great under him when he was here a couple of seasons ago. So we're really happy to have him back. Well, that sort of split kind of mirrors what we've been seeing on social media. A few of the tweets to us at BBC EMT. For every Kevin who says, I'm not a fan, but I hope it works out, lukewarm. There's someone else like Catherine Snowden who says it's brilliant and she hopes the headlines are all positive. Twitter also spawned a hashtag, unfinished business, all together, because that's what Billy said he had here at the city ground. So a bit earlier on, we asked him what he meant by it. And there's no doubt about about this situation at Forest. They are, without doubt, a club waiting to go into the Premier League. I think they deserve to be in the Premier League. They've certainly got the fan base, they've certainly got the people, and they've certainly got all the reasons why they should be in the Premier Division. Now, we know that that's a very difficult task. We know there's lots of other people and lots of other teams out there want the same thing, but the reason for me being back here now, uh, I, I, again, is pure and simply to try and get this club to the Premier League. Well, we shall see if it happens over time. It's certainly in for some more drama here at the City Ground. So, as I say, this programme on the iPlayer, the full interview on the website, and there is more to come from Billy Davis tomorrow. If you're a fan of Forest, if you're a fan of football, you will not want to miss tomorrow's interview with Billy Davis. In the meantime, the Forest Circus rolls on. Indeed it does, Colin, thank you.